0.38 versus 0.325 chainsaw chain. Chainsaw chains come in a nearly endless range of sizes and styles for a vast variety of cutting needs. Fortunately, chain manufacturers make chains to conform to a specific set of measurements, so operators can buy the chains they need. In many circumstances these chains are only slightly different, such as 3 8 inch versus a 0.325 inch chain, so the operator will need to know the basics of chain measurements in order to make an informed purchase. Chain Pitch One of the most important measurements chain manufacturers use to distinguish different sized chains is the chain S pitch. The chain S pitch measures the distance between any three consecutive rivets divided by two. This measurement sets the distance between the chain links and determines the size of the chain. The pitch on the chain must match exactly to the pitch of the drive sprocket on the clutch, and for those saws that use a nose sprocket, the pitch of the nose sprocket as well. 3 8 inch chain For most chainsaws, 3 8 inch chains are some of the most popular and most frequently used. These chains will fit a wide variety of professional and moderate used chainsaws. Some 3 8 inch pitch chains offer a low profile feature. These chains push out a smaller amount of wood and therefore require less engine power to slice through wood. Since these chains require less power, it is customary to see them on chainsaws with guide bars smaller than 18 inches. 0.325 inch chain Chains with a pitch of 0.325 are just slightly smaller than chains with 3 8 inch pitch. Most of the time, chainsaws that can operate chains with a 3 8 inch pitch will also be able to operate chains with a 0.325 inch pitch. Again, the size of the kerf, which is the width of the saw cut, is smaller than on heavy-duty professional chainsaws, and it is ideal for chainsaws with guide bars that are less than 20 inches, with 18-inch guide bars being ideal. Why it matters The reason these small differences in measurement matter are due to the drive sprocket in the clutch and the sprocket on the nose of the guide bar. If the chain S pitch doesn't match precisely to the drive sprocket and the nose sprocket, the chain 1T rides smoothly around, making cutting difficult and even dangerous. The pitch of the chain can be difficult to accurately measure, so the operator should look for the identifying pitch numbers, located either on the guide bar or in the chainsaw's operator S manual. <laughs>